years ago, a former trapper in Sarum told us, we have no money, my child is sick and we need food. I know to take a bird is wrong, but if the cockatoo comes into my garden and I catch him, at least I know I can save my son. The trade in birds and animals in Indonesia has been commonplace for decades. But the roots of the problem lie with economic, social, and moral issues. The long-term solution to the trade will require changes in attitudes. This footage is from an undercover investigation of trapping and smuggling by Pro Fauna Indonesia on Serum Island. A colleague of ours on Sarum reported to authorities that a number of poached cockatoos and parrots were confiscated from a middleman by the forestry department. These included Sarum cockatoos, red cheek parrots, eclectus parrots, and two cassowaries. We stopped to visit the birds at the forestry office, BKSDA, to assess their condition with our colleagues from the Bali and Chikananga Wildlife Rescue Centers. We came to the conclusion that the birds would most likely die soon if care wasn't administered immediately. We broke up into two groups. The wildlife team stayed at BKSDA to negotiate release of the birds into our care. This was difficult as they were considered police evidence. The second group proceeded to Sawai to gather building materials, foodstuffs, and to build cages in the forest. Late afternoon that same day, the birds arrived in Sawai. An opportunity presented itself and we took action. Upon evaluation, it was determined that the birds were so stressed from their ordeal, if not removed from the small cages, they would die. After some food and water, we took the birds and hiked into the forest where we moved the birds into the forest cages at night. In the black of night, deep in the rainforest, the birds were placed into the jungle cages. Can't believe it. All right, Boche. We hiked back into the forest early the next morning. Several of the red cheek parrots died during the night but the rest of the birds were doing remarkably well. We named the small facility Kambali Bebas, which means return to freedom. Thanks to successful efforts in raising money from donors and sponsors, Kambali Bebas is growing rapidly. The collaboration between the forestry department, BKSDA, and the team on the ground has been very successful. The facility employs many local people and allows former trappers to earn a sustainable income. At the same time, they are learning more about the care and feeding of the very same birds they used to trap. Rehabilitation, socialization, and medical testing are complicated processes, but it is essential that we carry out each step in order to maximize the survival of each bird that is released and minimize the harm to the birds that are already in the forest. Birds are candidates for release when they exhibit wild behavior, recognize and eat forest food, are strong flyers, and distrust humans. It may only take a few hours to trap a cockatoo and move it from its forest home, but it can take many months to properly return that bird to the wild.
18 months after their confiscation, three of the initial five serum cockatoos were released back into the forest from which they had initially been taken. Prior to release, they were tested and found to be clear of disease. I'll read it again. 516-349-349. For purposes of identification, the birds were fitted with stainless steel leg bands and microchipped. For short-term monitoring, colored plastic leg bands were also placed on the birds, and the distal tail feathers were colored using safe colored markers. The day of the event, all the children from the local villages, as well as the entire community, came out to see the release. This instilled pride in the village's own special cockatoo and continues to teach people about conservation. The head of Manusela National Park had the honor of opening the cage. The birds were soft released as directed under IUCN guidelines. The exit door on the top of the large pre-release cage was opened and the cockatoos were allowed to leave by choice and not taken out of the cage. Six weeks prior and six weeks after the birds left, a supplemental feeding platform was put in place near the cage so if the birds needed to find food it would be available to them. The most amazing part of this first release is how quickly the birds left. Once the first bird left the cage, it only took 15 minutes for the other two to leave. The staff at Kambali Babas monitored the area for approximately one month after the release to record any activity of the cockatoos. All three cockatoos were seen together on at least two occasions following the release. Two appeared to be flying as a pair, and in March of 2007, a chick was sighted at a nest believed to be that pair of birds. This was confirmed by the observation of the leg bands. We were successful. Kambali Babus was turned over to the local community in 2008 and is still actively releasing birds back into the wild. <laughs>